Today's video is gonna be all about erasers and I have an amazing art hack that I just can't wait to share with you. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. My name is Margot Halleck and I'm a professional artist and illustrator. And in today's video, we're going to be talking all about erasers. And I am, surprise, surprise, very specific about what kind of erasers I like to use in my process. And so many years ago, I went from using your typical white um, regular eraser to a kneaded eraser for everything that I work on. And there are a few reasons for this. One is that I, um, I just like the way that a kneaded eraser picks up graphite and lead and all that gunk off the page really efficiently, much more so than your typical, what is this, Mars um, or Staedtler eraser or whatever eraser that you have that you know typically comes from Staples or your local office supply store. And a kneaded eraser is something that you buy specifically at an art store. And it's very special because when you are erasing your drawing or your illustration, it doesn't leave behind a trail of crumbs behind it. And it doesn't spread around all that graphite and make your drawing muddy before you start painting it. So um, one thing that I love doing with kneaded erasers is I love to blot them on my paper. So many of you might be saying, well, yeah, Margo, I know all about the kneaded eraser. You know, what is so special about this art hack? One thing that I've started doing recently is taking a little bit of my kneaded eraser, pulling it off and creating a little ball that I just apply to the other side of my pencil when I'm drawing. And one of the great benefits of this is that you can actually just take it and mold it into lots of different shapes. You can make it pointed if, for example, you're erasing something that's very fine or that has a lot of detail, or you can squash it and make it flat if you're doing a really large area. So you, instead of having to like put your pencil down and, and, and grab your eraser and kind of go back and forth, you can just flip like you would normally do with an office pencil, but have a kneaded eraser on the other side. So this is kind of like a seemingly obvious art tip, but it's something that I only started doing recently and have fallen in love with using this particular technique when I'm drawing because I can go a lot faster and, um, and it gives me a lot of control, especially when you're wrapping it around on the other side of your pencil and molding that shape, um, you have the benefit of having a grip on the pencil that is kind of different than what you would have when you are erasing using the rest of the kneaded eraser. You can control your pencil a lot better, you have a better grip, and um, you just kind of use it a little bit differently if it's attached to like a rod or a stick like it is with a pencil. And so what I recommend doing is if you um, are doing this, um, I would at the end of every session just take your kneaded eraser off the pencil and put it back with the main eraser and that's to prevent it from drying out. So you kind of want to use a fresh um, piece or a fresh ball every single time you're applying this trick to uh, a pencil so that way you're getting a nice fresh clean piece that um, you know that is doughy and that picks up all of that um, excess gunk off your page in a way that's really efficient. So I hope this video was useful and that you try out this little trick that I just mentioned. And let me know in the comments below if you use a regular Mars or office supply kind of eraser or if you use a kneaded eraser. Or maybe you use another eraser that I didn't touch upon in this video. Let me know because I would love to know what kind of art supplies you're using for your work. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and for joining me every week for these art videos. And I will see you next time. Because when we... <laughs> don't laugh at me. <laughs> um, why is my shirt falling off? Okay. <laughs> so much for watching and for joining me every week. Don't forget to hit the sub... <laughs>